the alignment, repetition, contrast, and space. An artist needs to be responsible for all these aspects. Good design involves proper planning and organizing. In addition to having the knowledge of good visual design principles to construct it. Today's topic of discussion is path-breaking design strategies designed for the future. And we have an esteemed panel with us. To start with, we have Abhishek Raniwala, co-founder and creative director of Raniwala 1881. Abhishek has earned a master's in communication and advertising from Symbiosis. He schooled from Mayo College, Ajmer. Abhishek has pursued his passion for jewelry, went to Russia to know more about diamonds and mining. And later he set up Raniwala 1881 in Jaipur. With his vision to create a demand for handcrafted Jadao jewelry, he succeeded to do it in every single style. Abhishek has created a ready-to-wear Jadao line now, presently and a, and a series of accessories, which is the first of its kind in handcrafted Jadao jewelry category today. He's also collaborated with and launched a line of uh, fashion jewelry, designer jewelry with uh, the big designer Manish Malhotra. Okay. We also have with us another Abhishek, who is an Abhishek Rastogi. Abhishek heads the design for jewelry division at Titan for the last 12 years. He has been instrumental in defining the design strategy for Tanish, Mia, and Zoya. He started his career as an accessory design graduate from NIFT. Abhishek's passion for crafts and beautiful handcrafted jewelry. Today, along with his team of talented team of young designers, Abhishek creates ethnic and regionally relevant collections for rural markets and upscale and groundbreaking jewelry for the urban markets. His magic is highly reflective in the growth of the company has witnessed year on year. His work at Tanishk has garnered various prestigious awards to him. Our next panelist, Mr. Laksh Pahuja, is indeed a brilliant creator. An innovator has captured the minds with his gifted imagination and creativity. His designs have been recognized globally and have adorned beautiful ladies, including Miss Universe 2005, Natalie Glebova, Aishwarya Rai, Malaika Arora, Bikisha Basu, Puja Bedi, and many others. Trained at GIA, Harrow College of Art, England, Lux surely knows how to put his, to his use his innate abilities. Lux's every creation is truly a magnum opus and is, has his signature to it. His motto has been to craft unique jewelry and unusual pieces, something that is a one of a kind and stands out from the contemporary jewelry which is crafted today. Laksh has to his credit a very large list of awards that has been bestowed upon him. And if I start reading them, probably I'll need another one hour for that. He has designed and made some very rare, very unusual, very exclusive jewelry pieces of art that could stun the likes of any jeweler in the world. We have with us also Sonali Shah Sheikh is a name to reckon with in the Indian fine jewelry space. She has won numerous awards, felicitated for her entrepreneurial achievements. A gemologist and a CAD CAM graduate from GIA, a design and manufacturing graduate from JDM SMDT, Mumbai, and a luxury management graduate from the prestigious IIM Ahmedabad. So Nali has a rare combination of skills that span from design to manufacturing to marketing. She runs a brand sphere with her family members. Her signature collections have a universal appeal and have garnered the loyalty of her customers from India abroad. And they are retailed also through some of the topmost 
jewelry houses in the country. We then have Shweta Ranka, who's a young and a dynamic personality who has done a master's Six. in international business innovation from Barcelona Executive Business School, Spain, and has a list of certificates on various skills of our industry and has received so many accolades for all our achievements. Swetha is presently the head of online education at IGI New Delhi and is a great personality and a wonderful speaker. The moderator for today is Gunjan Suri. Born in Mumbai, Gunjan is an award-winning jewelry designer and a qualified gemologist, specialized in jewelry design and manufacture from JDM PB Polytechnic SNDT University, Mumbai. She was trained by Gavin and Elizabeth from the Royal College of Art UK at the SNDT. She has won multiple awards in jewelry competitions and led her to be acknowledged by the SNDT University as one of the most aspiring designers in the jewelry industry. She was part of so many panel of juries to judge design and jewelry competitions she started writing and conducting seminars on design thinking and innovation. Today, she's contributing columnist to various jewelry and fashion magazines and is a well-known motivational speaker too. With an experience of 18 years in designing conceptual jewelry, she has recently launched her own company, Gunjan Suri Couture Jewels, and also runs a specialized design studio boasting of acclaimed national and international brands, design services for them. Friends, we have 90 minutes for this uh, webinar, 15 minutes for questions and answers at the end. I request all to keep your uh, laptops and mobiles on the video off mode for a better quality reception due to network weakness. And over to you, Gunjan. Kindly <laughs> request you to start your presentation. And Thank you, Ashok Bhai. Thank you so much. Um, so a very warm welcome and a big hi to everyone listening to this webinar today and to the organizers for putting up such a brilliant series of webinars. So the topic, as we all know, for today's seminar is path-breaking design strategies designed for the future. Now, I'm sure we are able to relate to this particular topic since the world is experiencing a drastic change. And in these trying times, the world is going through, design on the whole will play a crucial role in the future. Everything will be the same, I believe, but the parameters are sure to drift, maintaining harmony with nature. The level of awareness that the onset of 2020 has brought in with it will go down in history and will bring about some significant path-breaking strategies that are here to stay. We will start associating design guidelines with certain values, respect sentiments, retell stories, dig in evidences, and so on. The list is never ending. It will become crucial that we start about thinking how a story told earlier can be retold since our consumers will be starving and they will crave for a holistic value of their product. The factors that will take predominance will be based on the following values, that will significantly change the design scene as it is known that design is the pillar of any product. And that's why investing time and effort in something like this is a fantastic and is, is a fantastic approach by the organizers. And I'm sure this will yield amazing results. So beginning the session, let's start the session with a very important question, which I would like every panelist to answer. What are the three inputs that you would like to give the audience with regards to path-breaking design strategies? Any three ideas. And I would like uh, Sonali to begin this with her slide presentation. Hi, everybody. If you can do a little combination of Hindi, Hindi, English. Sorry? A little combination of Hindi, English makes possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Don't worry. Um, so first of all, a um, uh, very uh, um, big uh, thank you to uh, Ashok Kankal uh, and all the panelists, uh, you know, we are gathered here for a, uh, you know, very, uh, you know, discussion that is very, very close to my, 
uh, you know, it's my topic of research. I just thought that since I have this opportunity and Gunjan had already uh, asked me about this uh, three points. So I have prepared a little presentation to share with all of you. So I, yeah, I will just start the presentation. Just give me one second. Yeah, so the three points ye jo hai, wo I want uh, to ask three points. Because uh, industry ke sab diggers here in this webinar, mein, uh, you know, uh, they attend this webinar. So, three questions are like that they have answers to their So, you know, here we talk about design, we say that it should be a story. So, do you have a story to tell? And where does your story start? You know, aap, uh, you know, once we have discussed this with uh, Ashok Ankal ki, uh, kai bar jewelers ya jewelry manufacturers bhi apna uh, concept banane ke baad, uh, then they are, you know, when marketing ki baat aati hai, tab ja ke the story uh, uh, create karne jate hai. I wanted to give a little example here that I had done, uh, you know, last year. And uh, I'll just show you the design process or uska time frame. It took me eight months from start to finish. Now, you have to think about it, some questions will ask whether it is profitable or not. But let me show you how a design does not cost, but it pays. So this is a small collection that I designed. I went to Turkey. And on the trip of Turkey, the art and the architecture was very inspired. And I took photographs, I wrote poems on it. And then, after coming from there, uh, I made a project which is called Miras, Yani Ki Dharohar. And I was attracted to the fact that there is a modern Turkey and a traditional Turkey. So, I combined both elements and I made a lot of sketches. And then uh, I came up with this concept that I compare Turkey to a woman with modern women ke compare karti hun, because this collection was for a modern woman when we are talking about, uh, you know, um, Ki, uh, customer, uh, you know, you should know your target customer and then design. So customer bhi mind mein tha, concept bhi mind mein tha. Or then dono ka parallel kiya. Uh, ki, uh, you know, it is for the modern day women. So 18 karat gold mein jab hum baat karte hain, to hum traditional hi sochte hain. Uh, even sorry, 22 karat mein. Maine is baar 18 or 14 mein jane ki koshish ki. Aur ek bohat hi... Uh, modern uh, language करने की uh, कोशिश की कि जो आजकल हमारा पहनावा भी change हो गया था तो उस उस हिसाब से something some jewelry that would go with your normal everyday parties or uh, you know uh, semi formal occasions so this was the collection that came out of it अब ये याद why I want to share this with you is I want to share कि ये design journey किस तरह की की थी uh, एक बार एक design बन गई तो वहाँ हम रुकते नहीं हैं उसके काफी सारे versions बनाए ठीक है based on the art and architecture of Turkey uh, उसके बाद क्या होता है when we go out and we see the market this is regarding sphere and sonali in particular I was looking out for temple jewelry but this new collection of us which is into enamel right it's an excellent it just took off my eyes from temple jewelry and I got into this Thank you so much. Beautiful design. So, what do I want to say? How can you change the perception of design? How can you influence a buying decision by influence kar sakte hai just by design? And then, it again doesn't stop there. Of course, profit ho gaya. We have we have sold that collection. But after that also, once a design collection, if you have thought deeply about it and made it, then it will also be more with it and more with it. उसके बाद भी आपको फायदा देता रहेगा ना अब मैं वो दिखाना चाहती हूँ। um, so this is a competition artisan awards का last year हमें मेल आया था कि आप इस्लामिक आर्किटेक्चर पे डिजाइन भेजिए। तो मैंने उसी उन्हीं कॉन्सेप्ट्स को थोड़ा ट्वीक किया। अब ये स्लाइड इसलिए जरूरी है कि ट्वीक जब हम करते हैं तो इतना mm का भी डिफरेंस में देखते हैं कि क्या बेटर लगेगा क्या तो एक डिजाइन एक्सपर्टीज की ये एक ये होती है कि कितना डीप आप जाते हो फॉर्म और फंक्शन को क्रिएट करने के लिए आप ये भी देखते हैं कि पूरी डिजाइन यू नो इट्स नॉट जस्ट फ्रंट फेस से नहीं पीछे से आगे से इट्स एवरीवेयर यू नो वी हैव टेकन केयर दैट ऑल द डिजाइन एलिमेंट्स आर इन प्लेस and then, uh, of course, I was, uh, you know, um, uh, fortunate enough to win uh, one of the artisan awards. 
एंड सो एक डिजाइन की आप जर्नी देखिए सो दस दिस इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू से you know you really really have that power uh, in your hands when you do design in a right way the second point i want to raise today aur main ye aap sab ko puchna chahti hu ki aap kya bech rahe ho aap material bech rahe ho ki design bech rahe ho of course hum jis tarah se traditionally uh, you know we are working hum uh, material pe zyada dhyan dete hain because trust factor aata hai in jewelry mein and everything but I just wanted to suggest कि ये एक चीज बहुत मैटर करती है कि आप डिजाइन ब्रीफ कैसे देते हो और आपकी प्राइसिंग कैसे वो पूरी चीज ये एक क्वेश्चन डिसाइड करता है हाउ जब आप डिजाइन ब्रीफ देते हो अपने डिजाइनर को आप क्या बोलते हो फोर कैरेट का नेकलेस बना दो दो कैरेट का सेट बना दो यू नो तो आपका आप मटीरियल की ही बात कर रहे हैं आपने कॉन्सेप्ट की तो बात ही नहीं बात ही नहीं की Uh, मैं एक रिक्वेस्ट करती हूँ कि एक अगर आप पाथ ब्रेकिंग स्ट्रेटेजी है तो आप एक बार ये करके देखिए कि एक दो दिन के लिए अपने डिजाइनर को फ्रीडम दे दीजिए तुम्हें जो एक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफकोर्स ले लीजिए लेकिन तुम्हें जो बनाना है बनाओ आफ्टर देन यू कैन कट डाउन कट डाउन एंड देन रिफाइन इट एंड कम बैक टू योर कमर्शियली वायबल प्रोडक्ट बट यू नो अनलेस एन अंटिल यू डोंट गिव दैट फ्रीडम टू योर डिजाइनर it's very difficult to come up with very very creative or innovative ideas so this is one suggestion uh, that i wanted to make there is a very nice uh, uh, you know research that uh, uh, the de beers had done they have a big report if you want you can access it online aur ek slide mujhe ye bahut important lagi ki ring design yani engagement ring mein to diamond hi sabse important hona chahiye hum sab jante hain ki ek diamond expect karti hai ek women but jab pucha gaya women se to wo yahi boli main के कंपैरिजन में विमेन आप देख सकते हैं कि 30 uh, मतलब इतना ज्यादा विमेन ये uh, समझती हैं कि यू नो दे आर बाइंग द रिंग फॉर द डिजाइन द रिंग डिजाइन इज व्हाट मैटर्ड द मोस्ट इवन मोर देन डायमंड क्वालिटी डायमंड साइज कॉस्ट वर्क वर्कमैनशिप एंड एनी अदर रीजन सो यू कैन जस्ट सी हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट तो ये एक स्लाइड मैं इसलिए दिखाना चाहती हूँ कि एक नॉर्मल अगर डायमंड ज्वेलरी कोई बेचता है तो वो क्या करेगा कि 60, 70 परसेंट डायमंड होना चाहिए 20, 30 परसेंट गोल्ड होना चाहिए पर व्हेन आई वाज डिजाइनिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर कलेक्शन इट्स कॉल कंट्री हाई टी तो यही आया मेरे सामने एक uh, सवाल कि मैं अपने डिजाइन कॉन्सेप्ट को uh, आगे बढ़ाऊंगी या तो प्राइस uh, के जो पूरा ये कैटेगरी है उसको ये करूंगी तो आई वेंट विथ माई गट फीलिंग एंड आई प्राइस द थिंग अकॉर्डिंगली ki of course i also make money that i don't make a loss but so that those are things that will influence your uh, branding your design strategy and everything and the last thing this is one of the most important thing that i wanted to say and thank you for giving me this time um uh, ashok ji and uh, gunjan the last thing is what place do you give your designers so you know kai uh, mai 20 saal se hu industry mein और मैंने कई बार देखा है कि डिजाइनर अपने एक कमरे में डिजाइन करता रहता है और फिर वो डिसीजन कि ये डिजाइन चलेगा कि नहीं या तो ओनर लेते हैं या तो मर्चेंडाइजर्स और उनके वेरी फ्यू कंपनी जो डिजाइनर को एक वॉइस देता है कि नहीं वो अपने कन्विक्शन के अपना अपने हिसाब से बनाए सो दैट इज वन थिंग आई वुड एनकरेज यू टू डू दैट क्योंकि वो वेल क्वालिफाइड है ये चीज करने के लिए सेकेंड अगर आपके पास हेड डिजाइनर नहीं है आपकी कंपनी बड़ी है तो डेफिनेटली आपको रिक्रूट करना चाहिए या तो कोई डिजाइन कंसल्टेंट बिकॉज दैट विल ओवरऑल इम्प्रूव द क्वालिटी ऑफ डिजाइन हम आज बात कर रहे हैं कि हम चाइना से कॉम्पीट करेंगे हम उसकी जगह ले लेंगे वी हैव दिस यूज अपॉन अपॉर्चुनिटी बिकॉज ऑफ कोरोना वायरस लेकिन हम किस चीज पे कॉम्पीट करना चाहते हैं प्राइस पे या कोई ऐसी बेटर चीज है जिसपे हम कॉम्पीट कर सकते हैं और वो डिजाइन है और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफकोर्स है सेकेंड आप रिकग्निशन कितना देते हैं अपने डिजाइनर्स को uh, मेरा आई एम अहमदाबाद के कोर्स uh, में एक रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट मैंने किया था और उस रिसर्च uh, प्रोजेक्ट के तहत मैं uh, बहुत सारे कंट्री के बेस्ट ब्रांड्स के सीईओ लेवल के पीपल से मैं मिली थी और मैंने एक ही क्वेश्चन रेज किया था कि क्या आप कोई ज्वेलरी डिजाइनर को एक प्लेटफॉर्म देंगे कि आप उसकी उसको एक छोटा सा शोकेस देंगे उसके नाम से बेचेंगे नहीं नहीं ये हम नहीं कर सकते so this is one uh, question that i want to raise that why when you are talking we are asked when we were asking tarun tahilani or we were asking the fashion industry ki uh, you know can we collaborate 
but we have of course we can collaborate with them but we have a very big pool of designers within the industry jinko hum nazar andaaz kar rahe hain so i wanted to uh, you know raise this uh, point in this platform and yes uh, also i feel that there is a requirement of a very nice uh, uh, jewelry design week uh, like a fashion week Uh, in the country thank you so much right sonali that's brilliant so sonali as you rightly said that you really need some head designer some guidance or consultancy or something like that and i would like to add to what you said that a lot of many times when we run this parallel design studio under our brand we have big corporate companies also coming to us and when they come to us they expect they expect perfection they expect newness they expect guidance and you know that's where they are leaving that trust in your hands so i am sure that you know believing and trusting in the designers is of utmost importance right um abhishek rastogi i would like you to add to this question please uh, and give us some free inputs of path breaking strategies sure thanks gunjil yeah uh, i would say that for me it's not uh, three different uh, you know points because right what matters to me is uh, uh, is when the when the uh, business strategy itself becomes a design strategy and and vice versa i don't see that two things are very different dono ek jaisi cheeze hi hain agar aap business ke andar if if it's a product oriented business uh, like ourselves in jewelry it's a product oriented uh, uh, you know business Un until unless you appreciate the product until unless you appreciate the design part of it within the business uh, then your whole strategy for the business in itself is is not uh, complete or is not holistic so uh, what i uh, what i very strongly believe in is the is the power of design to change the balance sheets of the company you know design mm -hmm. has that much of power your product design if it's designed right if it caters to needs of the market then then it can you know uh, just show you some very different figures in the balance sheet you know true, so true uh, for example we at time uh, uh, you know we follow a very uh, uh, a design methodology which is very at par with some of the global uh, design houses and uh, uh, and you know and it it takes a lot of uh, efforts to uh, you know understand your consumer to understand what the market needs and then uh, you know do a lot of trend research of how things are moving how things are shaping and then come back and formulate uh, your product strategy that you know for, for for us in the coming year or 5 years down the line this is how we see ourselves this is how uh, you know our products would evolve this is how we see our customers evolving and hence you know you strategize in a way that you help uh, uh, you know consumers as well as your business grow together because at times you also have to hold consumers hand and show them something new that they may not have expected you know you need to surprise them you need to uh, 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 you know bring path breaking collections that they may not have thought of you need to innovate and invest in innovation you know material how is jewelry a thing and you know something i'm at say and at least for us at titan they are uh, very well integrated and that's my abhishek abhishek sorry to interrupt you here how many times a year do you do the trend forecast report or the trend research is it like once a year twice a year is it dependent on the global trend research how does that go about absolutely not gunjan and uh, you know and many uh, many of the uh, uh, you know members here would agree that it's not if you go out in the market once in the blue moon you would see what the market situation is at right. that point in time but so if you're completely into it uh, you know is when you understand the ma market uh, needs completely you see how the needs of the market are changing you know over a period of time and over by over a period of time i mean for example if i have been in the industry for last 15 years you know right. you know how things have evolved from how it was 15 years back to today or how it was uh, you know a year back to today so yeah for for us it's not a one time thing and also how we do it is not just one medium of going to the market and studying it's also about for example we are at wcsn 
we look at a lot of fashion magazines fashion is also a very important part of uh, you know the uh, 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 our uh, uh, you know industry because the kind of silhouettes which are defined in the fashion space also define right. the kind of necklace for example uh, you know a lady would wear so under a deep understanding of all of this is i think what makes uh, or breaks uh, your right. product right thank you thank you so much uh, abhishek uh, can laksh please you add to this point out here again i'll repeat the question yes, your three yes. major inputs on design path breaking strategies for the designers so can you please highlight that yes good evening everyone and uh, happy mothers day to everybody yeah happy Hello. mothers day can you hear me yes yeah. yes you very yeah, audible laksh your... yes <laughs> okay okay one has to be audible in this industry you know <laughs> anyways <laughs> so thing here is uh, the slide by uh, this one sonali which she had a presentation was very nice and secondly about the stories we are talking about stories is like you know see i am doing this since 1986 my jewelry now people are talking about stories if you see my designs earlier since 1986 i used to design jewelry like you know what is the story See when Rastogi is saying he is working in a big company like Titan, it's a big setup. Myself in a four two hundred square feet place in Zanji Street in Zavri Bazaar, we started jewelry designing and manufacturing over there. I'm a son of a goldsmith. So, design is you know what the story people are there. There are uh, PR agencies. There are storytelling. Uh, 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 somebody can copyright your uh, jewelry. Like you make a jewelry and you tell that person to write a story. around that jewelry what i do in a different way my jewelry why it is so different everybody ask me why lux thinks so different it's very simple because i script a story first first it's like a film making everything is scripted i i write on the paper everything the final details you can there you can say there is romance there is screenplay there is song or there is anything you can say a climax in a a movie or something like this i i try to do it in my jewelry if you check all my jewelry it has that story behind it so if when you script it and then you manufacture it there is authenticity in that okay and uh, i have seen this a lot of designers they do story they drive, they, they do jewelry then they do story it looks bit you know mismatch sometimes so luck so this is a take up authenticity yeah. authenticity yeah. is your first input If I am right, hundred percent. Yes, Great. yes. Please yes, carry yes. on. Yeah, yeah. So in this way, like uh, the story is the uh, first part, and story is the most important of the jewelry. If you want to connect with your customers, the story is the only thing. Now with this COVID, if you see in this COVID times also, I've done jewelry on coronavirus. See, for me, I I got inspired by Amul. If you see Amul billboards, every there is any any political. changes in the country a sports person winning an award or something he, they will come with a different billboard so right. that was my turning point so i always think in that terms like i have done a jewelry on every design thing about concepts like what concept now sunal will speak was speaking about turkey some will speak on paris some day will speak on uh, some other country or something or flora or fauna my ideology is very different from others to be like if your you can say what do you call this if your concept is different your product has to be unique means your your each and every part of the jewelry has to be unique your thought process has to be unique okay. so if you think uh, i got for uh, mahatma gandhi that was uh, uh, gandhi's vision that jewelry itself is a translates it translate the whole the uh, the jewelry speaks about the story you know you don't have to write anything about it that because when you will keep it in front of the customer the customer will understand the what is the basic point about this you know let me help this you know so laksh if i may add to this is better yeah. to fail in originality than succeed in imitation 100% and always believe in one thing and always believe in one thing uh, mr rostogi will i think uh, believe in this also i have always believe one thing you should make your own trends be a trend setter i right. don't follow trends in my jewelry i have customers few customers who understands lakshpauja but i give unique see once you start 
following trends there are a lot of seminars on uh, gjp is also organized these seminars everything i appreciate that but somehow so, uh, along the line you know customer or not because the students the young students they stop they start copying it i've seen it in some way so you have to, it is it's a very final line between um you getting say, inspired following the trends and, and the, uh, yes yeah yes that's very important so, yeah yes thank you thank Tell you lakshmi uh abhishek rani wala abhishek rani wala i would like you to join here and please throw some light on this question please that will be really helpful abhishek rani wala are you in hi 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 uh, so can you please uh, throw some light on this question what would be a point to you been, yes the three can cover has been covered uh, uh, gunjan i think so we right. have to break the question into two parts uh, as we right. are from a small manufacturer to a right. large manufacturer and of course a retailer right. we have to understand that how design plays kis kis jagah pe kon kon si design kahan kahan play karti hai for example chhota manufacturer jo ki aaj mix bag hai jo mujhe dikh raha hai chote manufacturers bhi hain retailers bhi hain we have houses like tanish also in and we have lux who was a acclaimed jewelry designer so mujhe tino part mein alag alag supply chain mein ek cheez samajh mein aati hai ki badhiya design matlab badhiya vyapar ek cheez to tay hai ab is cheez ko kaise todenge ye apan ko samajhna hai ki chhota manufacturer ko ye samajhna hai ki uske customer kon hai उसको शायद कम्युनिकेशन स्ट्रेटजी की जरूरत नहीं है उसके कस्टमर कौन है उनकी रिक्वायरमेंट क्या है और वो माल बनाए उसी तरह बड़े मैन्युफैक्चर को ये आइडेंटिफाई करना है कि उसके कस्टमर कौन है वाइस वर्सा इट गोज टू रिटेल सो इफ यू सी एर अ लार्ज ऑफ पिक्चर वेन वी कम इन टू रिटेलिंग आई थिंक दैट थ्री मेजर पॉइंट विच आई ऑफकोर्स द प्रोडक्ट इज अनर इन ऑल द स्टेज प्रोडक्ट अच्छा डिजाइन अच्छा प्रोडक्ट विनर है किसी भी स्टेज में सप्लाई चेन के but when you talk about as a larger picture i think the three uh, major points one is the uh, a very very important thing is uh, uh, the consumer as i said customer ko kya chahiye kyu khareed raha hai uski need kya hai kya usko bridal chahiye uska solution kya we have to understand that what is the requirement why that person or an individual is buying jewelry and me as a as a as a retailer or as a supplier is it am i satisfying kya main uski need ko jawab de raha hu so you have to understand that very again again where you know uh, collecting data and understanding uh, consumer behavior comes into the picture so ek wo baat tha pehla dusra meri nazar mein communication mix jaise ki lakshmi ne kaha aur jaise ki sonali ne kaha jaise rastogi ji ne kaha what is that attribute uh, in your product and your brand which connects to the consumer is very important if you don't have a story and that story does not reflect in your product you're going to fall so uh, uh, so i would say that uh, design is the hero of the brand hence for a good communication strategy is very important which is amalgamated with your design and eventually that is your product so that's two and the third i think so very significant point is of course which we all know is relevance the pricing the worthiness the timing uh, the functionality the wearability the sustainability it all comes into that how relevant the trends the forecasting the color combination so then that that third part is relevant so so understanding and uh, putting in bullet points to make it short one is of course understanding consumer behaviors at every different supply chain then the communication mix are you talking the same language what your communi- your branding strategy and communication strategy talking on social media or different platforms of communication and third is relevance so i think the if you if you are smart enough to understand these simple points put it on paper i think that is what is path breaking design thank you thank you abhishek rani wala and i would just like shweta to throw some words please on this hi shweta she needs okay. to be unmuted i think uh, yes she needs to be unmuted so um, we'll wait for that we'll wait for shweta to be unmuted so that she can complete this uh, answer can abhinash bhai do that please thank you hi thank you hi shweta hi welcome um, so can you please throw some light on the question of path breaking design strategy three major inputs in brief thank you um okay i think mostly everybody is covered up that design is important right the story is important it is a part of business strategy yes designing is a creative journey but it has to be looked at a part of business strategy also so what is it that we need to design 
what is it that we need to create for which we create a story of inspiration as well so for this i have three steps or three principles which i would like to share right. and the first would be observe and absorb so when you observe and absorb you are supposed to look around whether it is for source of inspiration ya aap baat kar rahe hain ki aap ka trends kya chal rahe hain currently aapka customer demand kya kar raha hai looking at your own database observe and absorb all the information which you see around what is the innovation which is happening around which you can use using this information the second step would be selection and elimination it is very important to understand ki aapke market ke liye whoever you are catering to what are the aspects of this information which you've got that you need to implement what is it that you need to select and what parts of it that you need to eliminate क्योंकि हर चीज जो हम एब्जॉर्ब कर रहे हैं चाहे वो टेक्नोलॉजी में हो चाहे वो मटेरियल में हो चाहे वो डिजाइनिंग इंस्पिरेशन में हो हम सारी चीजें एक साथ नहीं एकोमोडेट कर सकते हैं किसी तरह कलेक्शन में एंड फॉर दिस द थर्ड वुड बी अडेप्ट एंड इवॉल्व सी व्हाट इज न्यू सी हाउ पीपल आर गेटिंग कनेक्टेड नाउ लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल कोविड में लॉर्ड ऑफ ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म हैव कम अप ऑन विच पीपल आर गेटिंग कनेक्टेड एंड गेटिंग यूज टू डिजिटल मीडिया सोशल मीडिया कनेक्शन हैज बिकम इवन मोर प्रिवेलेंट make okay. use of it to connect not just with the current audience but the newer buyer who are going to be there so continuously adapt and evolve and this third step has to be something which has to be very spontaneous and immediate so this thank is all you. i thank you yeah thanks chweta that was very very valid that input moving on i would just like to add that we imagine the unimaginary what's there is already there we all agree and what does not exist is always wanted by the human being so i believe curiosity factor will increase double fold and that is an important value to be looked at it will increase the spectrum of designs in categories not explored earlier this will also encourage the design fraternity to innovate further and move on you know i would like to give you an example of a collection i had designed around 8 to 9 years back and that was called transforme inspired by the microorganism amoeba now amoeba as a microorganism changes its form with every step that it takes now that kind of triggered in me to create a collection based on that and we came up with this beautiful set of collection which was raw crude asymmetric yet beautiful and ahead of its time i would like to ask abhishek rastogi if there is a collection that he designed like that listening to his gut feeling or rather he was or not to show sure, but he still went ahead with it and give that experience and kindly share that with the audience abhishek over to you uh yeah gunjil so Hi. yes uh, actually a lot of things in design happens by gut feeling only and right. uh, just that when you internally believe in it and obviously there's a lot of experience with which you know the gut feeling comes in and uh, you rely on that experience you rely on your gut feeling and then you kind of uh, uh, you know pursue the journey because so it happens in design that whenever you want to create something new it's not that it's it's been done before so so you know so and if it's not done before you need to take that risk and plunge in but having said that uh, you know especially in the kind of organization that i work for the stakes are very high we have you know more than 300 odd stores and all of uh, all of that and if we launch a collection and that fails uh, you know so that so i i mean it has to be a very balanced uh, approach is what i'm saying so when i when i say gut feeling it's also about the fact that i consider uh, how well is my product going to be priced what is the kind of material which i'm choosing you know things like those so it's not only just the concept but how you render that concept in a way that how you trans transform that concept uh, to something which is very saleable acceptable to your target audience uh, you know is something i think that defines the success uh, behind your gut feeling so abhishek is there any collection that you can remember a name of a collection that comes to your mind that you know that was different and that you went ahead with or that gave you like uh, credentials or whatever any any experience like that do there are uh, uh, several such things there was a collection uh, uh, called jewels of the royalty which was uh, yeah which was launched i think 4 years back 3 or 4 years back and uh, uh, there was usage of color stone in that collection and we when we did the market study we realized that there is a lot of synthetic stones which are used in jewelry and uh, 
we being the brand we are and those synthetic stones basically look very cheap and gaudy and you know we didn't want to use those stones but those stones had a very high value for money perception and it also increased the spread of the overall piece product you know? yeah. yes and it it brought in drama and all of those things but we didn't want it to use it in the current avatar and we went ahead and we took that risk of uh, you know and we had limited time to launch the collection but we were sure that this is not the way we are going to use the color uh, you know a synthetic color store into our jewelry and we 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 took that risk of going ahead sitting with the lapidaris uh, you know getting those samples developed in like within a month's time uh, kgs of uh, uh, you know synthetic stones we would have cut upside down this that is a lot of r and d on how to cut a synthetic stone so that it starts looking beautiful starts looking more precious almost looking like a ruby or emerald Uh, not saying that we were cheating con- uh, consumers with uh, you know saying that they are ruby or emerald, but providing a synthetic stone which has a lot more uh, value into it. So we were right. looking from that angle. We went ahead, we launched a collection, and uh, yeah, so we have never looked back. Uh, the, the kind of innovation we did. So there was a what I'm saying is at that one point in time we had to decide whether we are going ahead with synthetic stones or not. We decided yes, we'll go ahead with it, but in a new avatar. even without innovating even without a uh, end output in mind we went ahead and uh, you know pursued that journey uh, the end result was very beautiful we we been using that stone now for last 4 uh, years since the time that collection has been launched it's been used across our products now and uh, it has worked well for us and i think a lot uh, of industry is also absorbed because we never went ahead and did a patent for that we thought that you know the synthetic right. stones they right. look very even all of that so you know so we we didn't do a patent on that so thank you abhishek so that you are trying to say that there was a stage where we had to decide that we listened to the gut feeling or no and we went ahead with it right and uh, sometimes in our industry looking at the commercials even balancing it out there are certain decisions that need to be taken to be ahead of time and i think that is also one of the strategies we will need to be looking at in the future abhishek raniwala you do a lot of jadao jewelry how different is it in that segment of the jewelry um are the risk taking abilities lower how does that work you know i'm not too sure so i would like you to talk on this yeah that's true so i represent a very different set of uh, group of people uh gold uh, jewelry is handcraft it's sab haath se banti hai and i think a lot of my fellow carriers and uh, suppliers uh, in the chat here i think this is very relevant uh, for all of them to uh, i speak from their side yes so um so there of course there are a lot of challenges bahut sare challenges hai haath se jewelry banana kyunki aap casting use nahi kar sakte aap cad design nahi computer ka assistance nahi hai technology is limited but iske sath ek bahut sari opportunity bhi khulti hai what a hand can do what a mind can do synchronized i think so that creates brilliance and i think so hindustan india is blessed with all these carriers and the craftsmen we have uh, uh, i think we are a super power it when it comes to uh, handcrafted uh, jewelry so um primarily uh, jo jadao jewelry hai uh, which is uh, traditional and occasion wear and bridal wear um, is all handmade and old techniques so uh, coming to the collection there are restrictions uh, which are always there and uh, there are um, um, also a lot of positive side when we think of making things so one of the collections uh, which we made which we thought uh, can be made by hand um, can be jadao and okay. also can appeal to the masses so we called it as a ready to wear which is a daily wear jadao so uh, we never perceived jadao uh, uh, apart from the bridal or the occasion wear somebody's marriage or ropa etc but how can we fit the the jadao concept on daily wear a woman going for a cocktail dinner or woman going for a date ya fir ek ladki uh, office ja rahi hai to kaise wo jadao ko adapt kare so uh, we we took the old motifs of chand tara right and uh, we uh, added some pole keys and made it by all by hand and we did not make any uh, casting or any uh, mold out of it and every piece was made by hand and we try and uh, market it and position it uh, uh, on the basis of the traditional handwear values so uh, they were of course it took us a lot of time to r&d but what we understood that there is an uh, there is a way out and uh, it was uh, very well accepted and uh, we sell it online also Uh, and uh, the carriers are too intelligent and smart to come with solutions um what the computer cannot do so right. i think 
So Abhishek, uh, what I understand from what you just said was that here is where you altered the norms a bit. Yes. When you alter the norms, you know, sometimes, you know, a lot of people are listening to the seminar right now. We have around 552 people listening to us now, which is fantastic. And I'm sure that each one of them are running their own business, designing for some firm, aspiring to be better designers. So you might have limitations with your product, which is okay, which is perfectly fine. You could not take the risk a little further than what you want to, but you could alter the norms like Abhishek Raniwala did with his brand. And he made it available to the women to wear Jadao on a daily basis, you know, make it effortless, make it casual. So there are ways of doing it. We are trying to give you piece of advice, word of thought, a lot of food for Gyan here. So I'm hoping that everyone is absorbing that. Um, so anyone wants to add to this question of uh, uh, which I just posed, Laksh, would you like to say something to this? No, actually, yeah, I just wanted to share a screen right. regarding that story part, you know, I just, just need, just a uh, moment, do that. please. Yes. Yeah. Just a minute. Just give me a moment. After Laksh finishes sharing his slide, yeah. we will be moving on to another question prevailing about future trends. So panelists, I want you guys to be geared up for that. Uh, you know, so Laksh, we are waiting see, for your slide. See now, now you see this one. This right. for the audience, you know. Yes. Again, there's a, there is a, there's a story behind it, again. Right. So when I was talking to you all about, when it is on the cause, like uh, the, the pink dolphins are slaughtered in the, in the Amazon basin, you know. Yeah. Which so, year was this, Laksh? This was in 2009, ten, uh, 2010, uh, 2009, Correct. 2009. Yeah. Correct. And this is way ahead of time. Now you see the variability again. It's on the shoulder. Why it is on the shoulder? Because when a dolphin will dive, it has to have a force in a design. Right. See, the, so it is my gut feeling when you talk, when Abhishek was talking about and you everybody's talking about the design part and everything, I'm talking about this type of designing. You know, why I put on the shoulder? Nobody had done it before. No international jewelry designer had done this jewelry on a shoulder. Now there is no hinge in it. How to hold a necklace on the shoulder? Again, it's so, it was so difficult for me to arrange and uh, you can say manage all this thing that should right. hold also. Right. I want yeah. the audience to, you know, listen to one thing that yaha yeah. pe jo bhi speakers hai aaj, wo sab apne tarikhe uh -huh. se apne jaga par kuch na kuch naya karne ki koshish kar rahe hai aur karte aaye hai aur is liye aaj aapko bolne ki wo himmat rakhte hai aur ye platform pe hai. To Laksh ne bhi ye 2010 mein kiya. So risk taking ability, being ahead of time is one of the strategies jo ignore nahi kiya ja sakta. Laksh, please carry on. Yeah, just a minute. I will show you one more. Just a minute. I'm sorry. There's one more design. It's on Mahatma Gandhi. Right. It's very interesting for the, the audience to know this. How many of the person knows about uh, R.K. Lakshman? The panelist? Every, Everyone, I guess. Huh? <laughs> uh, no, uh, yeah. See, I, I, I'll, because it's Mother's Day. I will give you some of this thing on this. I'll share this. Now, this is what? Uh, uh, Gunjan, Anji. can you guess what is this? Yeah, you have to tell me. I can guess what <laughs> okay. I want. I would, I would like you okay, to okay. But, you know, uh, okay. elaborate now, on it the way you okay, want okay. to. Love. Okay, okay. Yes, love. Yes, <laughs> yes, of yes, yes, yes. This is dedicated to Maricom. See, now this is storytelling. When I told you, I script my... Uh, story before I manufacture. See, uh, before I manufacture and design. Now, this is the outline of the story. Oh, what is this? Can you see the screen or? Uh, no, but I believe everyone has seen the picture, Laksh. You can okay, carry okay. on talking. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, the thing here is the outline of the, uh, the jewel is the state of Manipur, the outline of Manipur, the map of Manipur. Okay. Mr. Prajwal, can you stop your screen share, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Prajwal. I don't know what happened. 
So somebody else has started. Mr. Prajwal, can you stop your screen share? Only the host is saying. Somebody else has started it. Yeah. Um, he should stop. We'll wait for that person to stop the screen please, share. Yeah. Please, please, please. In, okay. in the meanwhile, I'll carry on with this question, Laksh. Uh, yeah, okay, you know, okay. I would like to say that, you know, as they say that have no fear for perfection. Kehte hai na, darna nahi chahiye, kyunki koi perfect hoi nahi sakta. Exactly. You're, you you're can behind, never yeah. reach it. So let's yeah, start sure. by being so, fearless. Uh, can I add yeah. a point on that one? I just yeah, have yeah, sure. a point to make that uh, there is a balance as uh, Abhishek Rastogi and Abhishek Raniwala and uh, Mr. Sure, Lakshman. sure, sure. All of us said that, uh, you know, of course, there we need to see, we have to walk that thin line, ki customer ko kya chahiye. But I also have a little personal view ki kabhi kabhi customer they may have a little idea, but then they are looking at you, ki aap kya naya dete hai unko, and they are open to new things. And you know, Sonali, uh, I appreciate that point out here. You know, this reminds me, I'm uh, deviating from the topic a bit, but last night I was seeing a cookery show, right? And uh, my kids love pancakes, right? Now this lady, she said that cooking up pancakes in the morning is very tough for me because I just have 20 minutes of time. So she put all the ingredients of a pancake and baked it in a jar and topped it with peanut butter and strawberry jam. And she served her kids baked pancakes, which she prepared earlier. So customers, they're like children. They want something. They sometimes don't know what they desire. But if you present them on a platter with the edge of newness, I'm sure, you know, they'll appreciate that. Yeah, so, so we carry on. Yeah, I know you have to walk that thin line and balance it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I was coming to the next point out here and I'm going to be going towards this as I said that have no fear for, for, for perfection because you'll never reach it. So start exactly. by being fearless and we can call it innovative design, we can call it fearless design and that should be the mantra for your future design guidelines. So going forward, I want to pose this question uh, to the panelists saying that can you give us just one future trend about the kind of material that will prevail, the kind of gemstone that will prevail, and how certain trends can coexist with each other in the coming times. Can we throw some light on this, please? Um, new material in a lot of, uh, I think, uh, high-end jewelry, I think uh, experimentation with material will prevail. Like, uh, besides gold, we can use titanium or uh, aluminum. And also in a lot of fine jewelry, we'll see use of ceramic. We can see use of uh, silk dories as a part of the design, not just as a background. And, and semi-precious jewelry, lightweight jewelry. Thank you. Uh, Abhishek Rastogi, any inputs on that, please? Uh, yeah, so coming to the trends, I think uh, the current situation, which is the lockdown that we are all into right now, I think the lockdown would create a, an era of, uh, you know, the end of more. People have, uh, you know, understood how to live with less. And I think until and unless... Uh, Minimalist. You know, for example, yeah. our, even for our industry, for example, if we don't build that desire back, then people are not going to... I mean, pe people are already starting to cut down and those thoughts are there in their minds, you know, and people have learned to live with less and that may continue for some time. And uh, that I see as a permanent shift and until and unless all kind of product categories build that desire, I find it very difficult for, uh, you know, uh, for market to really open up until and unless it's a need based, uh, you know, purchase like a wedding or, a, uh, you know, or a Thing. Yes. Abhishek, you're trying to say that this would, uh, you know, kind of make the way or pave the way for minimalistic or lightweight designer jewelry. Uh, is so that what not, you're saying? Not, not, not really minimalistic because see, everybody's style sense is very different. Right. What I'm trying to say is that people have understood to live with less. So, you know, if I don't need jewelry, for example, right. you know, if there is a wedding in my family, if my daughter is getting married, for example, then a customer would go and buy jewelry. But if I don't need jewelry, I mean, I'm, what I'm trying to say is that current situation looks like that the, the whole sense of why jewelry is worn for adornment is going down. So if, that, uh, if jewelry is seen more as an investment today in the current situation and not so much as an adornment, 
then there is a heightened need for us to create that desire so that customers can come back to jewelry for adornment and not for investment and and to answer that i what i also feel is that people are going to buy a lot for meaningful products you know so need need based and more meaningful rather than you know splurge on something which is really not required so i think that's the so i guess abhishek then the you know strategies that we are kind of uh, helping in formulating will pave the way for future buys because people would want to have to believe in you right they would have to become your associate partners to believe in a dream that you are nurturing at the moment right uh, abhishek raniwala any future trend inputs in brief please so uh, to understand the uh, designing i think so we have to understand the product mix uh, properly and i see that there'll be three strong product mix which will prevail post covid one will be of course uh, very uh, need buying that could be uh for marriages that's one of the major product legs on the top of the line second will be investment can i buy an ornamental jewelry uh, apart from my uh, as an asset class instead of bullion that's two and third will be a uh, re- regular wear daily to wear kind of a jewelry and we have to design our uh, keeping all the uh, m- uh, parameters in the mind and as abhishek said that the more is no more people will be happy with what they have so i think right. so trend will be back to basics a uh, trend will be uh, giving a solution to the need and focusing on the category which you're working on rather than trying to innovate more because innovation also uh, 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 urges a desire but there's also a deep valley on the other side if it doesn't work then you fall so a few months are going to be tricky for the human race all of us together and we have to understand what product mix we are and then we have to design right and i i believe you know that is why the next uh, series of questions that we will have now or what i'm going to talk about will actually help the consumer to believe into buying will actually accelerate business if we start thinking towards this so we've been like reflecting on the changes that have been made in the world of design to create products that are more sustainable now this word has suddenly become very popular okay so the principles of sustainability are the foundations of what this concept represents as for me it's people planet and profit when you talk of people it's your consumer when you talk of planet it's your surroundings and when you talk of profit it's of course the commercial angle so what i believe is that there is there will have to be a growing need for pitching in new ideas new suggestions for environmentally sustainable design concepts so i want to know that since there is a growing demand for sustainable design in the future what will be your take on this sonali so even uh, i think i would combine the answer for both your questions right. i think sustainable design will definitely uh, be the trend for future one of the things that i feel is people in this uh, period have understood the uh, the importance of relations their close ones also there is a lot of nostalgia there is uh, personal emotions and also memorabilia there these kind of things memories these kind of things as as abhishek said abhishek has told you that you know meaningful jewelry so something that means a lot to me uh, uh, so you know there could be gifts uh, there could be redesigning of old jewelry so when you talk about sustainability uh, how about you know redesign you know redesigning a piece for your customer or maybe taking few elements of uh, the you know objects that they have some precious uh, maybe stones or jewelry that they have and then refurbish it you know in a new way so this of course all the jewelers may not be able to do say retail chains they are actually selling uh, ready to wear product, products but if you're looking at individual uh, people who customize and make so this is one of the things and sustainability actually i think gold in itself we no we we never i mean gold jewelry is either recycled or uh, you know uh, worn uh, for years together so we are actually a very sustainable uh, we are actually practicing sustainability in so, that sense so you sense. know sonali adding to this you know i had a very very uh, you know a different uh, requirement from a client who walked into my boutique and said that my grandmother has given me this piece of kura jodi earrings nakshatra but i don't want you to melt it mm. what can you do for me? Yeah. now now i i that was a very nice challenge for me so what i understood i i saw her profile what she's all about what kind of customer uh, personality she has and we created something around it without having to melt her grandmom's piece because she was sentimentally attached to it so, so this, this we transformed it 
it's sustainable it many times with me when i yeah. deal with private clients i in fact tell them you must give matlab matlab correct karo must melt karo so so correct me if i'm wrong so we are actually looking at revisiting design attributes by adding a moral value which will be of significant importance in the future this will be dealing with sentiments of the consumers it could be a message of global warming it could be save the wild it could be new material introductions encouraging recycling materials or some ideas we can explore uh, abhishek rastogi can you please uh, give us some yes 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 piece of advice on this uh yeah absolutely i think sustainable is a very big topic in today's world and especially with our generation millennials and even the the, the next generation who is going to be our uh, you know the next consumer segment i think it's it's becoming a increasingly uh, it's increasingly becoming a topic of concern and people are not only looking at sustainable products as in what is going on behind that particular product and whether it is sustainable or not people are actually going to you know look for answers whether the company or the brand that is coming up with the products or that the brand that into which they are investing in whether the the brand itself is sustainable or not and um, i i i and thanks to the current situation also for example i mean cities are seeing the uh, gangotri from a distance of 200 kilometers ganga yamuna everything <laughs> is becoming clean. so so they are valuing know, so mother are, nature yes, yes they are valuing nature so, yeah. yes and i and, and i don't uh, already this voice was very apparent on the sustainable bit but i think post this covid you know uh, this voice is going to get stronger and i'm sure people are going to find uh, are, are going to look for answers and as and we as brands and we as companies would have to answer that so how our production is happening how our raw material is getting sourced are we recycling gold what are we doing with uh, you know this whole sustainable aspect of it solar yeah. energy and things like that uh, yeah. and even you know uh, sustainable is also from from uh, for example also about the artisans how are you taking care of the artisans you know uh, is it a fume uh, um, environment which is filled with poisonous chemicals that they are breathing in in and out or are you a sustainable company taking care of your uh artisans as well so things like yeah. these i think is going to be a topic of concern yeah absolutely i believe hemant bhai had posted something on the wj group today which you know were cutouts and uh, we were really impressed yes. with that so is yes, hemant bhai yes, also yes. there online okay so we we'll come to that uh, you know probably later hi hemant bhai i believe that you had posted Gunjan. something on the wj group today yes i did and uh, there is a concept which we had developed some time back called zero wastage correct so, so what we so are... i want you to actually talk about this since we are discussing sustainability in our industry yeah so it does come from the sustainability aspect in fact most of the things i do are sustainable i do a lot of craft based jewelry based on dokra based on bitri which are all sustainable in the sense that like my craft uh, dokra today is also still manufactured without using any electricity or any chemical based compound wow okay to, lovely yeah coming to the collection that you saw today it is made out of recycled hardboard okay so that's the first part every yeah. part that is cut off is reused within the same design to give you the final image i i don't know uh, is it possible for me to share my screen i can just take you to an sure example. sure yeah sure sure yeah so give me a minute let me just load the pictures yeah i have given the uh, sharing uh, to you himan bhai you can okay. go ahead you. thanks i'll just give me a half a minute yeah sure so i believe that you know uh, maybe gunjan, gunjan yes. you know gunjan laksh was telling something yes laksh yeah. yes please yeah gunjan on the on the on on sustainability i was talking about right. the, on the question i did some research on uh, google they're saying to extract 10 grams of gold 5 tons of ore is processed okay to okay <laughs> so heavy use of machines then there's pollution and lot of things so what sonali said mm. okay what sonali said about the recycling of the jewelry is the right. most important thing you know yeah yeah this is uh, he is sharing the screen yeah, yeah. lovely yeah. it is yeah yeah as so you will huge. see 
So nice. Yes, Hemantai, please let us know about this in detail. Okay. So yeah. the cutouts, one cutout is the mother, other is the child. And the cutouts are used in the center to depict the child and the mother hugging each other. And the center part that has been emptied out is used as the base on which the mother and daughter are standing. This is amazing. This is amazing. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. So, so this is one of the concepts. Then, uh, so, uh, but let me tell you the process by which we created this. I started work with about six different designers. Okay. And for me to just explain and get them to understand the concept was a humongous task. Challenge. And at the end of the day, there is only one designer who has designed all these seven pieces. My collection is normally seven to 12 pieces. I don't go for more than that. So these are all done by one designer. Now this is about a mother who knows you best because you have, she has and heard your sounds from the inside. Boom. Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so the pregnant mother and the child and then after she's born, the heart and the bond that they have between them. So now I am not a designer. What I do is actually I describe this whole thing that I'm creating to the designer. Okay, because I can't draw. I can't even make a straight line with a ruler. Okay, I have, I'm that bad at it. You are Gunzar. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, Hemantai, what I really like about your collection, can I just interrupt here a bit? Of course, of course. Uh, what, I, what I really like about this whole thought process is there are three things that I get to take away from here. Zero wastage, yeah. original ideation, and trying to do something different, and also giving credit to the creator. So there is these three beautiful things that I take away from this concept. I, I'm sure the panelists will agree to this. Yeah. So, yeah, please carry on. Of course, of course. Again, this is a house, mother and children, and the love that they have between them. That's the heart that comes out. And every single piece you see here is real. There's nothing yes. thrown out, nor anything added from anywhere else. So this is where actually the designer skills comes in. Right. My designer, a girl, this is called, beautiful. Rupa, a girl yeah. called Rupa, she did such a brilliant, she did a lot of Come again, effort. Rupa. Rupa, Rupa. Rupa, 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 Rupa Rel. Okay, very Rupa nice. Rupa designed all lovely, this. Lovely. I have no, I have uh, no uh, hitchki chart in giving her name out because I think she's brilliant and she deserves yeah. the credit. Now, of course, thank she's you. Yeah. So yeah. That is oh. the, the thing. Yeah. Thank As you, you Hemantai. I need all the the thing they can get. So this is the whole concept, and all this is from recycled hardboard. That's the best part. So we will see some. Thank you. you know, Hemantai, Hemantai. Yeah. Just, yeah. We'll see something on Valentine's Day also. Oh, we already made a Valentine's Day collection. <laughs> no, no, we had made a Valentine's Day collection. Okay, lovely. I will need one. A second collection in this concept. I will need one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank Only you one. so much, Hemantai. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, okay, oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Hemantai. So, creating a healthy, proactive environmental message you know I'm sure will touch a chord in the ends of the consumers and that will compel them to associate themselves with your design product and this will in turn create goodwill and make no them your associate partners which I said earlier so moving on uh, does anybody want to add add, add anything on sustainability uh, here? one sec uh, so, uh, yeah. Which, there yeah. is there is there are a lot of points which are raised by people. Laksh uh, uh, could not share the uh, images what he was sharing like Mahatma Gandhi and Arke Laksh. Content, yes, yes. yes. So yes. if he can do that yes, and yes, then yes. you can proceed to the next question, it will be better. Please, Laksh. Okay. Please do that. Give give me a moment. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yes, sure. Are it's showing only the host can share. This yeah, yeah. I have meeting. given the command, sir. Please go ahead. Okay. Thank you so much. While uh, he's doing that, I just want to thank uh, Heyman sir for mentioning the designer's name. I Absolutely. think that he talks huge about his, um, you know, his um, approach. Or the kind of person that he is in yes. the industry. Yes. Yeah, guys, guys, today's Mother's Day. So this necklace is a tribute to Mother Teresa. 
So each and every jai is it's titled wings wings of an angel. Wow. You know, just see the rosary in the center. So this is how the storytelling is. So I, I always say only one thing: first script, then you make. I don't know. I will show you more, more on Mahatma Gandhi also. A quick uh, thing I will show you all. This was quite interesting. I did. No, yeah. A jewelry on a tribute to Vishwanath Anand, the master. Uh, this thing, the prime star. Yes, See the yes. way it is. It's a mind. It's it's a, a, like we do mind speak. It is a mind game. Chess. Yes. So how? It's mind. So, <laughs> so, uh, well said. Just tell me, I'll show you more. But Lux, we have to sit one day to understand how you think. Yes, yes. <laughs> absolutely. Sure. But not here. I, huh? This is my. This is one of my favorite now. Uh, I think this is a uh, uh, tribute to Subhash Chandra Bose. A uh, jewelry was I uh, was displayed at IIJW. You see the tiger. That's a uh, uh, that's our national animal. And if you see, it's a tiger hill. And the way we fought a war at Kargil. So wow. it's a whole story. And it's titled Jai Hind. The title piece is Jai Hind. Last, how much time did it take you to make that piece? It takes a lot of time. Lot of time. And there is one jewelry I'm making since 2009. I'm still making it. It's not getting it. Because somewhere <laughs> along the line, I feel I'm not doing justice to it. So again, I'm redoing it. Yeah. Just one Mahatma Gandhi I'll show you. Yes. Hope you, you guys are enjoying it. huh? Yes. Yes. Public demand. <laughs> Public demand. I say, yeah. This was. And I'll show you this one. This is that one. See. Now this is like um, bird's eye view of Palm Jumeirah. See, I don't think about customers. I don't think people will like it. I just make it for myself. I chase my dreams. I just manufacture it. I got. I'm lucky to have my own factory. I'm a goldsmith myself. I can manufacture a lot of things together myself. I just put it together and just display it. And this is the way I do my work. You are a Leonardo da Vinci. I can tell <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank wow. you. Laksh, any more slides? Uh, you, one, 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 one last time. Yes, please. Please. Uh, this is uh, the last time showing, otherwise, okay. The, the, you want to see Mahatma Gandhi and there is a Titanic here? Anything, yeah. uh, because there was a lot of demand yeah. and uh, we. Yeah. Oh. See, this is Titanic. Titanic. Full story. See on the lower part, there's an iceberg, there's a waves, there's a blue stone associated with the love of Jack and Rose. Oh God. There's a deck made of wood. Then again, there is the Titanic pose. It's totally complete. If you see it's a movie. Fantastic. Yeah. Still is with me. <laughs> My wife has it. <laughs> oh God. Great. Okay, one more. Last, I'll show you. I'll just show you one more. Benefits of being a wife of a designer. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, Sonali. <laughs> what happens to the husbands? <laughs> we can't yeah. comment on that. Question. <laughs> Don't even yeah. go there. Yes, guys. This is the last one I'm sharing. I got right. many of them, but this is the last one I'm sharing. Now, this is the ultimate piece which I've designed. This I did it in 2010. Now, this was a solid award. I got a first prize. Now, if you see, the inspiration was like Mahatma Gandhi. When you see Mahatma Gandhi, the first thing it comes to your mind is the specs. That motif. motif necklace. If you see each and everything, it has the meaning behind it. The center part is charkha. Then the, on the right hand side, there is free India. There's a, a bird there. On the left hand side, there is secularism. All the, all the caste and everything should stay together. There is a, a, a salt that is known as Dandi March. There is a philosophy of three monkeys, Buramat Ko, Buramat Suno, Buramat Deko. And there is a tricolor thread. And again, in each and every snippets of this is, you know what? There's a saying. 
of Mahatma Gandhi, like an eye for an eye will make the world go blind, on something like that. So this is the way you create, create, write a story, then make a jewel. So Laksh, yes. thank you so much. But you know the best part about the Mahatma Gandhi necklace was its simplicity because Mahatma yeah. also believed in Sada Jeevan Uch Vichar. Excellent. Right? Well, well said. Well said. Yeah. yeah. So, so that was something that caught my eye. Moving yeah. on, yeah. I'm going to be now changing, changing the you know momentum of the seminar towards something else right now. Currently, there are a zillion of ideas bombarding in my mind space, and I'm sure this current scenario, this is what is happening to all of you. So that is why addressing a topic like this becomes mandatory. I'm going yeah. to read a few lines from this book called Seed by Design. And the reason to do this is because that will form the base of my next question to the panelists. So Seed by Design happens to be India's premier book on design thinking. I was blessed to have authored it and I'm going to read a few lines from it. New studies have shed light on the surprising power and the reach of our senses. We can hear things that don't make sound. We can feel things without touching them. We can see things with no form and smell things that have no discernible odor. Humans also have a sense in addition to the five senses called propioception, also known as the muscle sense. You know, many a times when we are watching television and we need to catch the remote. So what happens is we are not aware of the muscles in our torso, in our neck, in our shoulders and arms, and we just kind of grab it. So that is the muscle sense we've been gifted with. In a nutshell, human beings have been gifted with sharp senses, and if they elevate it to a higher level, that will decide the quality of the picture we as designers want to show the world. Now, my next question is on the basis of this, that how do we involve or elevate our senses to create better designs, to formulate better strategies for the future? So I want, Sonali, if you can please add to this, I think as you were reading, uh, I'm, uh, you know, this is uh, what I could think of was uh, that I remember was, you calling me day before and saying that I still haven't got laid my hands on the book. So I believe that was a fresh take for you from there. Yeah, it was. It is a yeah. fresh take. Yeah. Yeah. But I think, uh, you know, designers, so to say, are a little closer to artists. Uh, I think we are just, uh, you know, a little bound by the commercial aspects and so but we still are artists at heart. And I think, uh, you know, we do, um, uh, you, we do get easily emotional and affected by things happening around us. I'm sure even this time, this really, really unusual time that we are all going through is going to leave a lasting impression on our minds and it is going to reflect in our designs. For example, I'll just give you a very small example since you're talking about five senses, uh, you know, and when you said, oh, what is that one uh, key trend do you think for the future? You know what I thought of? I'm bored of staying in the house and just looking at the same walls. I want to see bright colors on the street. And, you know, so I was thinking maybe some bold color stones is something that would attract a lady who is, you know, looking. Uh, and, and I also, you know, of course, there are things where people will buy jewelry or not. So those are separate questions. But I see so many of my clients who want to, uh, you know, get, get jewelry as gifts because uh, they say we are not going anywhere, you know. Uh, you know, I'm not going to let go of my jewelry gift of the anniversary or the birthday. So, uh, you know, let's not lose hope. And, and so this is where that emotion or you know, that sixth sense you're talking about will come into play because now we are all in this together and that how it's somehow um, that um, energy is going to come out in the design, uh, you know, work as well. Thank you, Sonali. So to add to that, I may say to sum up is that the energy of how we all are feeling at the moment is our hidden strength, right? So if we use that sense or that energy in the right direction, we will be able to elevate our senses. So adding to the five senses, I just want a very brief takeaway from each one, starting with Abhishek Rastogi, followed by Abhishek Raniwala, please. Uh, yeah, on the senses, I would say uh, right now, especially uh, with the current situation that, you know, all of us are, um, I think there's also increased sense of uh, collectivism now because, you know, we've been locked down into our spaces. So, and the whole, uh, uh, the, the whole uh, 
a pride in nationalism, for example. You know, when Laksh was showing all those pieces of Mahatma Gandhi and, you know, the Kargil thing and, you know, the kind of past, the kind of uh, feelings that 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 brings out within you is uh, something which is unparalleled. And, I, I, and I'm increasingly seeing that happening currently, that there is a increasing sense of, uh, you know, nationalism. Uh, which is there amongst all of us together and because we are fighting uh, this situation together as a community and uh, I think that's going to, uh, you know, that's also helping us relook at our past, you know, uh, people are spending so much time. The other day, uh, Mr. Raniwala was saying how he's uh, listening to stories from his grandparents about the emergency and all of that. So I'm saying people are spending that kind of time with their loved ones, you know, they are doing things which they have not done before and they are also uh, kind of exploring their history back. There is so much of Ramayana and Mahabharata these days on television and you know families are sitting together and watching. So I, I think there is, a, there is going to be an increased tense towards our own traditions and uh, as uh, you know, and, but at the same time making it a little more wearable for today and making it a little more modern um, is I think how we are moving. Thank you. Thank you, Abhishek. Uh, Abhishek Raniwala, would you like to add to this that the kind of energy uh, that we have with us, the kind of feeling that we are going through and how we can use our senses to elevate design to another level? I think so. Abhishek Raniwala. Has, yeah, the COVID era has taught us to be more responsible, consume more responsibility. It has given us time to look within. And the minute you look within, your all senses get aggravated. And I think so. We are on the tip of aggravation of uh, patriotism and uh, uh, preserving what we have. And we all pepped up to go back and uh, uh, do our best, uh, combining all our senses together and put it into design. So, in few words, uh, I think it's time that uh, we make the uh, product and the design uh -huh. the hero and uh, make a complete story out of it using all our senses mm -hmm. which have been activated in these times. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Abhishek, Shweta, can, do you want to add to this, dear? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, there is a oh. Japanese philosophy. Okay, or I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's called Kansei. It basically is putting the emotional effect of all the four, se all the five senses together and uh, using that to appeal to the consumer psychologically. So the sight, the shape, the color, everything that appeals is a complete package to our sight to our sense, to what we hear about it as a part of branding. I think connecting with that emotional, psychological aspect by uh, sharing our feelings as designers is something that would work right now, that liberation, the hope. And these are the adjectives we need to put in into our designs, the connected. Shweta, do you remember that there was this fidget cube launched a couple of yeah. years back? And that became a big rage with the youngsters and the kids. And that, you know, so actually... Cute. Yeah, and that was yeah. amazing because that you were feeling all the different textures, the senses, the feeling, you know, and, and I think when the product designer created that, that's what he used. He used his sensory perception to create a path breaking toy. So, you know, we see that when we invite guests to our home, it's not just food you're serving, it's how you present it, the colors you use. So there's taste, there's look, there's sight, everything. So if we start doing that with jewelry, I think we can elevate this to another level. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'd Lush. like to add one thing there. Like yes, Sonali. I just wanted to give an example. So, you know, for Indian weddings, earlier, I don't know now post lockdown, how, what kind of jewelry people are going to wear. But uh, in the pre lockdown era, they, I had designed a huge necklace for a um, you know, bride. And I made sure that because she was going to put it on for like two, three hours or maybe more, uh, that the back was so comfortable and it was so nice to touch and feel that it was almost even that heavy jewelry uh, was, you know, it was uh, manufactured in such a way so that it was so comfortable for her to wear. It was smooth. And even if you talk about the comfort finish, uh, uh, fit in the rings, I, I think those are the kind of things we should really, really not undermine or uh, not you know, yeah. just take care of it. Thank you. Thank you, Sonali. Uh, Ashoka, would you want me to ask a couple of questions or end the forum or how is it? I think it? Uh, Abhinashi would have a few questions he would have received yes, please. on yes, the please. chat, uh, if at all, if he can uh, look at them. 
definitely yeah. uh, there is a question uh, what should be general time frame a designer should keep uh, in mind from concept to retail i think abhishek krastogi can answer this question well for him yeah Uh, Abhishek. Yeah. So. Okay. Yes. Yeah. No. So I I think it's uh, you know uh, when you speak about design, it's it's obviously a very creative field, and one can uh, and as Lux was saying that you know he started a piece. I think he said uh, 2009 or sometime. No. Or uh, if I'm not wrong. Okay. So what I'm saying is that it's a, it's a creative field, and there is no end to perfection. Uh, but but it depends on the the kind of business. that you are into and uh, i mean there are few things which can run parallel which can have a little longer lead time and because you are sure that you know if you do a little uh, if you do a little more add on to it it would transform into something more beautiful and better than what is uh, currently and hence i think that there has to be uh, you know that balanced approach of having a longer lead time projects and shorter lead time projects so yeah so shorter lead time projects depends on uh, companies uh, you know how how they want to treat it it can be uh, you know few months to do design to uh, sampling uh, to bulk production and then finally uh, launching to the market or it can be more than a year or uh, two years or three years depending on the kind of r and d and the kind of innovation that you are planning to do and how perfect you want it to be before it out goes out thank you abhishek covid okay. answers i want to ask one question i think abhishek has very well answered this but generally in our industry people think of an idea they want to create it tomorrow and in the next 3 days they want the production to start is it possible yes it is i i, I i'm sorry i'm just answering this one that it is possible uh, that i have had clients ki mujhe ye gift dena hai aur kal hi and then the design is not ready you you sketch it in front of her so that is how like the design time could be 3 or 4 days it could go till a year or so some of the big design companies have a year uh, long design cycle but uh, i i mean i'm sure all the designers so would one of a line pieces are all possible i know but when you actually want to really design a collection and all no you can't just get an idea on one day in 3 days you can start producing and getting results so there has to be a time frame that has to be given sufficient time frame for designers to think to create and actually come up with a selection and rejection situation absolutely absolutely well said ashok bhai because to each one their own you have to formulate your own timelines looking at the commercial angle as well if, if you have like suppose i run a studio as well and if i have a client who's looking for three collections a month my capacity of designers need to be able to cater it with efficiency and if i can't do it i won't do it but you need to understand this yourself everyone needs to decide these norms for themselves how you're comfortable with there are no rules in design you formulate it the way you can do it and improvise it each day yes avinash bhai are yeah. there any questions uh, yeah one more one more question yeah please go ahead abhishek no this i i just wanted to add to what gunjan was saying because uh, you know as a designer there is no end to perfection and as she was saying that one has to design uh, you know define your own limit uh, at times i mean whenever you do a sample you realize oh i could have done this and it would have you know become absolutely abhishek um, absolutely but then you have to also be realistic and uh, uh, you know uh, define your timelines yeah right. go ahead uh, mr ignash connecting to that question one more question is there points to keep in mind when designing because see ultimately what what you have said is the commercial also matter so when you are designing a collection for regular wear jewelry what are the points to be kept in mind uh, when something is designed with the commercial thought process because it's not a question to laksh but it's a question which people will be asking uh, to their designers and the new designers the upcoming designers have that in mind so avinash bhai i would like to add here is that a a collection comprises of your firstly is your end consumer or a client that you're targeting every retailer every wholesaler or a boutique jeweler or someone is designing for someone if 
not they are presenting a ready collection for their end imaginary consumer never forget that consumer in your mind then work backward you need to know that what is the kind of collection you will be representing then you come up with list of ideas the way i work is i work on the concept of divisibility in my studio and divisibility i mean is that i have formulated it myself i call it the micro and the mega compartments of jewelry micro compartments of jewelry comprise of the idea the inspiration the fragments the research material and the mega compartments comprise of the big takeaway the story the message and the personality no of the problem. consumer once you know these two aspects you will be able to design jewelry Hello? with method and precision in time to come nice okay the name will like you are any vision avinash can i say a few words please please Okay. what i would like to bring out here is the kind of work i do as i said i work with various indian crafts like dokra bidri paper mache tarakati to create modern jewelry for the export market now for us from concept, from selecting an art to market is anywhere between 12 to 18 months why i think most designers do not know how this crafts work okay therefore we first have to study the craft to see what kind of designs are possible then getting the craftsmen to change to manufacture the kind of pieces we are looking at and reaching a quality that is acceptable is another task so as i said it normally takes us anywhere between 12 to 18 months from selecting a craft to retail and uh, to uh, just point out what uh, what sonali said uh, again i will share my screen and so show you something that we do on a regular basis for product uh, can i please share the screen uh, avinash yeah i have given you the command uh, okay so uh yeah So Nali, this is what is done with every single piece of jewelry we make. This is the front and the back. Wow! Yeah. And we do this for a hundred and two hundred dollar pieces. It's not only with super expensive fine jewelry. Yeah. They are handmade, right? Sorry. They are handmade, no? Yeah, I'm luxury. No, casted. The casted, casting. The okay. bidri okay. piece is handmade. The bidri okay. piece is okay. handmade. and then it the is back the, part is cast the mm. back part is cast it but we have okay. a dali for any okay. piece that we make mm. uh, okay okay i just want so to this pieces are done this pieces are done in bombay or uh, yeah else? so no the bidri is done in bidar okay but like my dokra is done in a town called konda gaon in chatisgarh my paper mache is okay. done in the uh, outskirts of shrinagar in kashmir lovely so that the, 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 the assembly okay. work is all done in bombay the product itself is your story yes mm. our product is our story and Thank we have documented me. manufacturing i have the whole dokra process bidri process everything documented on video lovely sir Lovely. I just wanted to add one thing, Gunjan, to Amitabh's yeah. question. I'll give you an example. Who, you know, the earlier slides that I showed you, the Miraz collection was more of an art and all. And then, lot of jewelers when we showcased it at IIJS, बहुत सारे some of the renowned jewelers really loved it. And what we did when we talk about commercial aspect, हमने उनके लिए उसको थोड़ा tweak करके भी manufactured it according to their customer taste. so he loved the products but he said no how come uh, can we have some diamonds around it can we make the weight a little less so we we made an entire new range just for that particular jewel so i'm glad you did that because adaptability to consumer needs is mandatory right your end consumer has to be kept in mind whatever you do you know many a times there are you know there is always a consumer at the end uh, avinash bhai you can Awesome. I think I think Ashok by it's three uh, thirty five already. I think over to you uh, for Ashok by. Shall I end the seminar yes. on a polite please, note? Please, yeah. please, please. Yeah. Thank please. you. So design, as we all know, guys, it speaks culture, and culture shapes values, and values determine the future. So as we all know, that we as a design fraternity have to tempt the consumers to buy. offering them newness 
but what level of newness we're talking about, each one knows it's in our mindset. Summarizing, it's important to note that the more we try to offer value in terms of design, we can create a connective bond through stories, through messages, through slogans. We are sending a signal that will surely bring in new customers who want to be associated with brands like ours, adding value to the society and surroundings. So let's welcome changes with open hands by creating consumption of renewable sources, adding innovation, adding value to the sentiments of consumers, and implementing these attributes will definitely enhance the design industry on the whole. Thank you all the panelists and thank you the organizers and the listeners for being so patient with us. Over to you, Ashok. Thank Bhai. you so much. You have not left anything for me to speak <laughs> except by saying that you guys are a real bunch of great minds, great spirits. Absolutely, a lot of energy and the potential to really take the thought process from really one level to another level. Thank you. And I salute you, you, you guys, for for the kind of discussion you have had today. I can assure you, to get about six hundred people coming in to listen to you with such patience at this, at this, it's only possible because of of COVID and nothing else. <laughs> so I think this is our opportunity to brainstorm good things good ideas and we have these great minds that you all are and i would personally would like to thank uh gunjan you especially for moderating this in a really wonderful manner thank Sonali, you, for giving all your thought processes i have made a lot of notes but i mean <laughs> if i start doing reading that it's going to be another 10 minutes <laughs> and sweta for all your insight abhishek rastogi for his great uh ideas that he has always utilized in practical sense and Abhishek Raniwala for his real insight on the uh, the com combination he does from Chadao to contemporary and the way in which uh, things can happen and change. And Heman Bhai for uh, those uh, pictures that he sent me in the morning which I never understood. Now I realize what he's actually doing sitting at home. But any which way, we are all a team and MindSpeak thanks you for uh, for the wonderful time, Laksh Pauja ji, uh, he's a, he, he's a, he's a guru of of our uh, of all the artists put together. My God, I think I I would call him uh, actually a Leonardo da Vinci, who actually used to sit and imagine how planes used to operate, and that's yeah. the way he designs his jewelry also. Lovely, amazing uh, team. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you for your kind words. Thank and you so thank much. you all for attending tomorrow. Uh, we have a wonderful session, actually a samvad, and with none other uh, than uh, a person from uh, from the government uh, who is the uh, head of uh, is a BJP spokesman, who is also a uh, past union minister, Shail uh, Shah Nawaz Hussain. Okay. Uh, we all meet again at two o'clock. Sure. We're going to do a a, a, a discussion uh, about uh, Ignay Soch and let us all listen to him. Uh, he's going to speak for about 40 45 minutes and then we shall have an interaction with him on a one on one. So Thank till, you, till, till then, Thank you guys you. have a wonderful day. Thank you. And yeah, in case they, some didn't have their lunch, please have them fast. <laughs> Thank you, Avinash Bhai. Thank you, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you all Thank six you, of you. Eman Yes. One card, Valentine card for me. All right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Lakshmi. Very, very, very light note, Lakshmi. Yeah. Abhinav, somebody else. You are missing the 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 insistence on this particular thing. Thank you, Lakshmi. 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 Thank you, आपको